Hi everyone, and welcome, welcome to another, another short and shoddy edition in my homebrew journey. Okay, so the boss is out, and so uh, what I'm going to do is stand straight, because uh, that's hurting my arms. Um, what I'm going to do is a short and shoddy uh, Munich beer, because I've got two and a half kilos of Munich malt. So what I'm going to do is something really simple, half hour uh, mash, half hour boil. I'm going to do a kilo and a half of grain, I'm going to do a kilo of Munich malt. I'm going to do 250 grams of wheat malt, because you know my theory on wheat malt. And then um, I'm going to do 30 minute mash, no rinsing, no any of that nonsense. Uh, eight litres of water, pull it out, hopefully get six and a half for that cap, six and a half litres to boil, and then I'll, my half hour boil will get it down to five litres. And then I'm going to add for my boil uh, about 10 grams of Hallertau, maybe 15. I'm going Hallertau, I'm going all German this. Um, and then we'll get a cool down. We'll get a stuck under the stairs. Quick, quick, quick. The bus is coming home any time soon. Uh, I'm a bit of time, time to go here yet, but um, hopefully this beer will get down, uh, get done, sorry, in two hours, two hours 15. Um, and remember two hours 15 for my last short and shot, my British Golden Ale, was because 45 minute match and a 45 minute boil because I put too much water in. Well, I haven't today, I've got eight litres in there, kilo and a quarter grain, 10 grams of Hallertau at 60 minutes, maybe 10 grams at, at 30 minutes, sorry, isn't it? 10 grams at 30, and I think that'll be enough, actually. Um, and then I'm going to use some K97, I think, and a pinch of Kvate, because I've got some wheat malt in there, haven't I? So hopefully that'll leave me with a nice beer. Um, done quick, and... Uh, Starting to fill the old brewery up again. Brilliant. So let's get mashing in. 250 grams of wheat malt. Straight in. A kilo of Munich malt. That's 10 minutes in. Let's give her a stir. Temperature's holding up quite well. That's my 30 minutes up, so let's have a quick check on the uh, efficiency, the gravity. We'll have a quick drop of 80-20 Munich wheat malt on the old refractometer. And we're at the heady height of 10.29. Hmm, which isn't brilliant. Never mind. What we're gonna do is we're gonna Drain her now, leave her for 10 minutes, and then uh, get her onto the boil. Okay, 30 minutes of a boil. 15 grams of Hallertau. Give her a bit of a dunk. Uh, 15 minutes, and we'll put some whirl flock in as well. Okay, that's 30 minutes of a boil up. So now, all I need to do is take the hops out and get her cooled down. Okay, the time is seven minutes to ten. I started at five to eight. So if I was now just to leave this uh, into a, a put it sorry into a demijohn, that would be done, and it's less than two hours from start to finish. Um, my pre my uh, starting gravity then is one second. It is oh a very pleasing. 10.45 and I have got oh, a good five litres I reckon yeah I've got over five litres of work now at 10.45 so I'm right happy with that um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to because I've got a bit of luxury time now I'm going to leave it to Whirlpool uh, and then I'll uh, for you know 20 minutes or so and then I'll put it into the uh, Demijohn pitch a bit of the cafe which will get it going quick then it's the fermentation will sort of die off a little bit and then the K97 should kick in and you know we should maybe get down to from 10.45 so I've got one beer but me white IPA it started at 10.60 and it's down at 10.10 I've just transferred it to secondary tonight 
whilst I've been doing this. So that's uh, six, five sixths of attenuation, which is six, six, fifteen, sixty, sort of eighty-five percent attenuation, something like that. If I can get the same with this, um, from ten forty-five. Sixes into fives, sort of ten seven or something like that. You know, that's that's good going, I reckon. Uh, so we'll leave it ten minutes, fifteen minutes or so, and we'll come back and transfer to the uh, demi John and say our goodbyes. Okay, so you can see there after half an hour how much clearer the wort is, and what I've done, as in other um, demonstrations, is I've put something underneath the boil kettle to raise it up and I'm going to put my siphon at the far end and hopefully I'll get some nice clean wort. Okay so there's my uh, Munich malt and wheat malt mash lager short and shoddy 30 minutes look how clear that is that's absolutely beautiful Really, really nice and clear. I've not quite got my four, four and a half litres, but I'm not fussed about that. I'm really happy with the process. Um, and uh, 10.45 OG from 30 minutes, that is not too bad. Stirred it every 10 or so. Um, got a nice vigorous boil for 30 minutes with some hardtow in it. And uh, that's what you end up with. Bit of whirl flock as well to clear it out, clear all the rubbish out. And I'm really, really happy with that, dead happy. So. Uh, all I need to do is add a, a pinch of kvake, which hopefully will get the fermentation going soon, and then uh, some K97, and then bunger under stairs in that there brewery, and see you in 10 days, kind of thing, innit? So uh, there we go for another short and shoddy, that's our second one, and it's taken me, apart from the half hour whirlpool, it took me one hour, 56 minutes to get that much lovely beer, with lovely work there. So uh, that's not too bad at all. Um, so, I'll say goodbye, as usual, you can like and subscribe to the channel, The Own Brew Journey on that there YouTube if you want, you can leave a comment below as well if you like, no one ever does, but you know, if you do happen to be watching this far into video, you can like and subscribe and leave a comment if you want, and you can follow me on uh, that there Instagram at hashtag the home brew journey, uh, amongst others, and uh, why don't you go out and get a bit shoddy?